So a number of people have asked me to make a video about the Venus flytrap setup I have indoors and which lighting I use. Um, so I'm going to go over it in this quick video. Um, basically this is what I do um, to grow my flytraps uh, pretty much October through April since if you leave them outside anywhere north of their home range they have a tendency to freeze or rot over the winter um, so this is kind of the cheapest setup that's possible um, first thing you want to do is uh, buy some kind of grow shelf and this is uh, like a wire um, two shelf or three if you count the bottom one three shelf unit I bought either at Lowe's or Walmart and then for the lighting I use these Sylvania uh, CFL bulbs and um, they're 65,000 K and the lumen output is 1450 and you can find these at Lowe's. They're just uh, daylight bulbs. And then uh, I put four of them per shelf and I'll show you how I have it arranged in a minute. So if you want your plants to color up a little bit more or if you're interested in having them flower so you can produce seed, what you want to do is use a light that's in the warmer spectrum. And so I use the same brand, Sylvania, except I use something that's uh, in the 2700K range and it's output is 1300 lumens and it's a little bit of a more yellowish light what I usually do if I want my plants to flower is I'll swap two of the uh, regular daylight bulbs out and I'll do half and half daylight and uh, half of that um, yellow 2700 K range Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off these lights so that we can look at them without messing up the light balance on the camera. And so what I have is a uh, splitter which allows you to put two light bulbs in here attached to a socket that comes from a uh, clamp light. All you do is you unscrew this metal shield and you take it off of this clamp. And then what I kind of did was I just kind of took some wire and I tied it to the top of the shelf and I made this metal shield out of two of these uh, pieces here. And then I just uh, tied everything to the top with some copper wire. And then what I do is I use uh, two for one side and uh, two bulbs for the other side. And so I've got four bulbs per shelf and that leaves us with uh, one uh, socket up here and then one up here and then two down there, which is a total of four electrical cords and so what I do is I plug them into this power strip and then I can turn everything on and off with one switch and this kind of setup is um, cheap it's not going to cost you more than a hundred dollars uh, I'm not sure what the exact price is but it depends on you know how many plants you have and if you want to do one shelf or uh, two um, but these bulbs, I'm pretty sure you can buy them for 10 or $12 for this two-pack. Um, and the sockets are cheap. They're, you know, like 5 bucks or something. Um, so this is pretty much the cheapest option I've found. So here are the fly traps I have. Um, they're doing all right. Um, I've noticed there's been a little bit of mealy bugs on them, so I'm going to have to spray them with some pesticides um, probably this week or next week. I don't have that many. I think I only have, um, what is this, seven. Or I got another one down there. I got eight different cultivars. I used to have a lot more, and I had a lot of red ones, but what happened this year was I had a bad outbreak of spider mites, and... I never really dealt with that before and so I kind of left it alone for a few months figuring they might just go away naturally since there's predatory mites outside um, but the predatory mites they didn't take care of them and I had to uh, soak these with insecticide and so 
by the time I uh, treated it, it was months later and they were down to maybe one or two leaves and that created an issue with rotting because they weren't using as much energy to grow and the soil was a little bit too wet um, so I had that problem but in the springtime I'll probably get a uh, few more